Good morning. Welcome to California Seismograph. We're glad you're with us this morning. We had an earthquake uh, at Octilio Wells. And today I want to take you to a couple things. We do a little uh, of a educational video about it. And because a lot of people have had questions and I haven't been able to really answer all of it. But this morning at early in the morning at 548 53 seconds, we had a 4.1 earthquake. It says the 3.9 because it did get downgraded at Octilio Wells. As today, we were lucky enough to have this occur quite early in the morning, this earthquake. And let me take you back to the earthquake here. Like you see, it's a nice graph, but recognize the time at 550. Uh, this occurred at 548, of course, and um, our setting at that moment was 1550, which is in the daytime, as you guys know, is about around 500, 550 max. So we're a thousand points higher in sensitivity, and that was our luck uh, being able to get this nice graph out of this earthquake this morning. Obviously, as you see, the Lake Matthews. Uh, the answer to uh, Tuscamal Valley and the San Diego all turned red and they both show up there very nicely too. Now the next question I get is the difference. If you look and I back this up a little bit and you look at this earthquake, how long stretch this is. Remember this, what you see here on the top graph, on the ground measurements, you see this uh, minute tick here. All these are the minute ticks. Every bar is exactly a minute in between. And if you look at this, this coming down here, you see that this earthquake tends to be showing about two minutes long or a minute and a half at least here. Which is correct. And let me explain this a little bit. What happens is we are in a low uh, sediment area where the soil is real soft. And when you have a very soft soil, uh, it has the tendency of vibrating and refibrating and, and bouncing off. In, in this bowl and giving a lot longer of a stretched measurement of this quake because up here as you see this this is probably only like 15 seconds 20 seconds well this is a minute and a half and so that that has to do with there further up in the mountains both uh, Lake Matthews Mescal Valley uh, they're you know against or on some solid ground there so here it shows up as the 4.1 Octilio Wells uh, let's go back and look at a couple other things we have going here. Let's look at the uh, our fault map. We have the uh, earthquake occurred right here on the bottom end of Coyote Creek Fault, of the Coyote Creek Fault, right there. And as you see, the red, as a matter of fact, uh, this is the uh, most common uh, occurrence of earthquakes, color red, and that's right on the edge here. We see this happen and occur quite often quakes here. So l let's look at another thing on this map here and it's something that I personally have been looking at and I don't know many people I've ever heard talking about this but we all know that the San Andreas fault here you see it's a slip strike fault and it's known to be that. Now we do have trust faults and one of the trust faults areas and I think on this map it kind of really depicts it if you look front of uh, San Luis Obispo here, at this type of fault structure here, then this indicates to me the pressure of the plate coming this way. As a matter of fact, our, our mountain line indicates a lot of that. As you see here, this thrust line here shows that this mountain range is kind of almost stopped right here, where we have our plateau area and the mountains here, it's all thrusts up into the eastern Pacific plate. And so, interestingly enough, we got an anomaly of faults here going all directions. And that's why they're talking about it being so locked up here. And we can kind of see why. Not only slip strike, it's uh, definitely also a lot of thrust faults. And it's a, a very studied area, but very unknown and not obviously by a long shot, not fully understood area. So anyway, this is uh, just a, a great little info, uh, inform informative um, video for all of us. Uh, I hope it, uh, uh, you enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, do so. And you'll get our uh, updates automatically to wherever email or uh, phone you'd subscribe with. And you'll be able to, uh, to directly get our information. 
have a great afternoon uh, chai in the meantime afternoon here have a great afternoon and uh, we talk to you soon again